Welcome to another Unturned Polaris video. Today we went on a PvP server and we are going to do a very epic Rex riches and a pretty good base raid along with some PvP. If you guys want to see more videos like these where we go on a Polaris PvP server, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that goal, I will do another video like this very very soon. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, we are currently on the road to 30,000 subscribers and a huge percentage of you guys watching right now aren't subscribed. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize, make sure to join my Discord and contact me there. Over on my Discord we do host regular giveaways as well and currently there is also a mythical giveaway happening. In this video we're going to roll a separate mythical giveaway which is a radioactive native stair Perskia. If you want to win this mythical, all you have to do is to be subscribed to the channel, like the video and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance to win, so if someone wishes to test their luck and support the channel, the link will also be in the description below. Obviously I would like to thank each and every one of you who has became a member. Today's video is sponsored by Deeps Network. Deeps Network is also the same server that this video is recorded on. If you guys want to earn rewards while playing Unturned, then Deeps Network has got you covered. Deeps Network offers membership and rain giveaways weekly. They also have Vanilla Plus and Survival Shop servers. In these servers, you can either work your way up to PvP or instantly buy items from the shop for instant PvP. Deeps also has released six new Vanilla Plus servers, which some of them are Arid, Alver, and Kuwait. And if you play on these servers, you have a chance to win premium ranks. If you wish to play on these servers, the Discord link will be in the description below, as well as the IPN port of the Polaris server. And let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, Polaris. Yes, now I did play on the server a while ago. I'm pretty sure it was on stream actually, and I have some items in my vault. Nothing that crazy, I'm pretty sure the best thing that I have is a gas mask. Now the server is mostly a PvP oriented server rather than anything else. Also, I'm pretty sure that the server does have a bit of high times loot. So what we're going today is we're going to try to speedrun Polaris. We're trying to go from this little kit and we're gonna try to get pretty much fully geared, try to ride some bases, have ourselves our own base, and obviously get ourselves into as much PvP as possible possible i'm gonna loot here yeah at the same time let's actually check out how much oh yeah it is quite high times loot okay we got ourselves a moses lovely so that means that with one dead zone run we're gonna have ourselves pretty much an inventory full of gunpowder probably all right well it's good and it's bad that it's high times loot it's good because there's probably going to be huge bases around and bases that are actually profitable and it's bad because everybody is going to be stacked so we're probably gonna die quite a number of times Alright, so I'm probably gonna try to find somewhere to build a base very soon. I don't want to get any good loot before we have a base so that we can actually deposit it somewhere. Now, maybe I could build it somewhere close to military or the dead zone. We'll see about it. Anything good? Not really. Alright, so I'm gonna start chopping down trees. And this did not... Oh, wait, no. It's all in my inventory already. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. If you do chop a log or something, then the wood automatically goes into your inventory. That's actually really, really cool. Yeah, there's still quite a ton on the floor here. But we did stack quite a ton of logs, so now we actually have more space in our inventory. Yeah, we could actually build a pretty big base with this. Yeah, perhaps we could build it somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure this is very close to the sewers. So later on, I will definitely check out if there are any unraided bases there. But I do not want to live in the sewers. Alright, base is pretty much done. Now, this is what I have had in my vault. One lotus, a gauss mask, vector, but I'm not gonna use them yet. Actually, I'm not gonna use them at all. I will only use them in desperate measures so that we can actually try to get ourselves a good start just with this Moses, perhaps. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to military and we're gonna try to get ourselves full military, maybe ourselves some gun, a walnut or a kidney or something like that. Definitely better than a Moses. And this one dropped ammo. I'll take that for now. Now, as soon as we do get full military, then we can actually head ourselves to the dead zone. From there, I will try to kill as much zombies as possible. And it'll be the easiest way to get gunpowder. And then we would just need to farm ourselves some lotuses, some grenades. And we could start hitting up some base raids. Going straight in today. We're gonna try to get as much loot as possible. And as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we don't actually die. Now, I'm noticing a lot of bases actually around. So, that's good. We actually do have stuff to raid. Now, there are some teams on the server. There's actually one team in particular that's like four men. So I'm scared that I'll roll up into them. But if I do manage to kill them, then that would be quite epic. Alright, so over at military. Seems like somebody was actually here, to be honest. Alright, there are some zombies, so that's good. Right, let's pick up the knife. Alright, these dudes dropped clothes, some ammo, a bunch of knives. We'll actually salvage them for metal. Yourselves up. Oh, there's a guy. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Hit him. Oh, and he's dead. And oh my god, he's actually stacked. Bro, he has full mercenary, vector, penumbra, full ammo. He has a billion tactical lights for whatever reason, some um, money. Oh well, yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here, man. I'm homing. Bro, what the hell just happened? All right, well, I am never talking trash about the Moses ever again. Just literally got ourselves the best two weapons on this map and full mercenary outfit. So much ammo as well. 
Honestly insane. I don't think I'm actually gonna run around with Mercenary for now. I'm not gonna run around with Penumbra or Krizzy, that's for sure. But I probably will keep them here and I'll still run around with normal military and the Moses. Alright, insane rack searches, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I made myself another Mercenary top, I'll put that in there. Alright, so I just chopped down a bunch of trees and made myself a billion crates, literally. And I just need more storage. Because with that one kill, we already filled up like four crates. I'm also upgrading base because it's way too small now. If somebody rolls up right now and kills me, I would literally lose everything. So I need to make this as quickly as possible. But for now, I'm just gonna make a 2x2. Two two. Nothing that big. Perhaps later on we'll upgrade it. We'll see though. Right now it's not really that important. Alright, so base is done and we are going to go to the dead zone. Probably the only dead zone run we'll do, unless we find some insane bases, which we would need a billion C4 to raid. Now, the Gauss Mask is safely in my vault, I only have the one filter in the Gauss Mask. Now, yeah, in order for me to actually get myself more lotuses, we need the full items. I did already put a drive from last time that I played, I do have Polaris Flowers in my vault. I'm actually gonna go home to check if I have anything else. I don't think so though. We have a lot of ourselves of empty crates till now. Hopefully they will all be filled up later on. You know, put everything we don't need in here. Take all of the clothes and actually salvage them. All right, dead zone time. Zombies are starting to lurk out. Now the only thing I want from here is gunpowder. That's literally it. And perhaps some gun parts. Maybe we could upgrade some guns later on, but I don't really care about it that much. Now hopefully I actually have enough ammo, but yeah, they do. Since it's high times though, they're gonna drop the 70mm mags. Oh my god, yeah, we almost died there. They all creep up on you. Oh, they're going away. Now I am honestly terrified that somebody is gonna come and kill me from behind. So we gotta do this as quickly as possible, because obviously, pretty sure people are gonna hear me. Yeah, an airdrop is passing by as well. Almost died again. Lovely. All right, let's med up. Zombies don't reach me back here. They don't come back here. All right, well, I'm gonna put stuff in my vault. I'm gonna put mainly the gunpowder. That's literally it. All right, let's take all of the mags, gun oil. All right, I thought there would be more zombies, to be honest. There's some more dead zombies here. A bunch of loot. All right, well, I think we are actually done from this. All right, so now we need to get ourselves as much lotuses as possible. So I'm gonna try to farm as much copper coil, cyan crystals, and flowers as possible. It might take me a while. But yeah, I did check out where the observer spawns, and he's actually not there. So somebody did loot them. And even this one, we only got ourselves one copper coil. All right, so we are back in military now. Yeah, there's a guy. I hear him reload. He's literally in this bunker. I'm gonna try to kill him. Yeah. He was clueless. Alright, oh, you didn't have anything that good. Think so, Jackhammer. We can make a drill, though. Oh, that's pretty nice. Alright, let's kill the zombies. Oh, and there was another guy. I'm dead. Oh, yeah, it's a duo. Lovely. Alright, well, I'm gonna home and we're gonna go back. Hopefully, they are both still there and they wouldn't home or something like that with my loot. I should have some guns. Yeah, I have the vector from the guy that I killed. Pretty sure this is my last gun as well. There's somebody very close as well. I heard uh, somebody shoot, but I'm not even gonna bother about them. I need my loot back. We are back here. Yeah, I heard somebody jump. He's dead. I have no idea where this... And we are good. We got everything back and we got more. Well, not. We didn't have that. Bunch of ammo. Hopefully they didn't vault any... Oh yeah, mercenary outfit is fully here. Right, let's drop those. Take the jackhammer. Yeah, we can make ourselves a drill, I'm pretty sure. Bunch of more loot over here. Yeah, this though had some items, not that much, but still pretty good, man. The most important thing is that we got our items back. Oh, we found this. I have never been here in my life. What oh, it says safe zone. Okay. Oh, there's money in there and some guns. Wait, what? I am so confused. We need to get another one and I have no idea from where you get it. There's a sewer in there. What about this door? Cannot access it. Another door. Oh, it's exactly the same. Bro, wait, so if we keep going down, it's gonna be the same thing over and over? Oh yeah, it is. All right, well, in that case, we just need to do that and that. And bam. Get ourselves a gun and some money. Lovely. Oh, and we are in the safe zone. Alright, well, I can do your quest, bro. Alright, quest is done. I'm not gonna focus on quests, to be honest, though. But we'll claim them just in case. We pretty much claimed another one. Got ourselves a fishing rod. Oh, a Polaris flower. That's pretty good. Now, we're gonna do a base raid. We only have one charge. And I think there may be base health on the server. I am not actually sure. But I found ourselves a little wooden base. Put that right over there. It's a two by one with, like, an external one by one here. Alright, yeah, broke, and it is not raided. I'll put the detonator back in there. Alright, and we gotta go and grind even more. Love and I'm dead. Oh yeah, and that is a part of the five-man team. Alright, well, I am back in base. I mean, I did just lose a full mercenary outfit. Myself, Zakini. Alright, maybe I'll try to go back and see if they are still there. We'll try to kill them. 
If not, I'll just continue with the grind. Thankfully, I did vault the detonator back. An airdrop is passing by. Now, I did loot military, got myself some clothes. I did not find that five-man team again. Yeah, the airdrop's going there. I'm obviously gonna go for it. Polaris airdrops usually have pretty good loot. Alright, so it's gonna land over here by this construction area. Now, I'm kind of scared that the five-man team is gonna be here. And I'm gonna get murdered again. Right, let's get up on top of the bridge. Now, I'll jump straight on the airdrop. Yeah, it's literally right under. Uh, okay, some guns. Horde beacon. Alright, that's home. Yeah, my vault is full. We got ourselves another vector, another night vision. Sentry. Horde beacon. I'm gonna do the Horde beacon next. They give a Lotus, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't even have space to put this anywhere. So for now, I'm probably just gonna put it there. Get ourselves a turret, though. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we could probably put the shotgun in there. Yes, sir. Death trap initiated. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that means we're gonna do a Horde beacon. We're gonna do it probably at one of the chillest areas. So people don't counter me. Doesn't spawn that much zombies on Polaris. But probably I should get myself some more ammo. Or I can actually use the melee to do this. Alright, we'll put that right over there. Actually, I think this might have been a bad idea. Alright, so it takes two hits to kill a normal zombie. There's gonna be these flankers and all of that. Now, I actually did not bring meds with me. I kind of came for this horde beacon a bit unprepared. I thought they would be weaker, but it's fine, I'll manage. My mega zombie is dead. And there should be only a few zombies left. Let's check out if the hard beacon popped. No, it didn't. Is there somebody still out there? Alright, we got ourselves a med kit finally. Where's the last zombie? I hear him, but... Oh, there he is. Alright, it popped. I heard it. Let's get ourselves the Lotus and get the hell out of here. Let's take that vest. We didn't even have a vest this whole time. Nice. Oh. Oh, okay. It dropped more than one. Okay. Right, I did not know that they actually dropped more than one, even though I knew it was high times loot, but... Hey, that's better. It's literally like 5 C4. Oh, we are back in base. So now I need to craft myself C4, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need tape. I don't think I actually have enough. So we're gonna have ourselves to do an expedition to get as much tape as possible. First, let me actually see if I do have any. You know, if these crates are gonna be mostly empty. We do have a ton of grenades. Yeah, we don't even have a single tape. All right, yeah, no worries. I'll put all of them over here and we will return. All right, so I'm currently in the mines. I'm trying to get some metal as well. So maybe we can start making some lockers because... Our base is literally wood and even all of the crates are wooden. So if somebody uses literally like 2C4, they're gonna get everything. And we don't want that. Oh, there's a car being driven over here. Alright, hit him. Alright, he's running away. He got out. Right there, he's dead. Let's go. And, okay, dude, this is actually, this guy is insanely stacked. Bro, look at all of this loot. Alright, let's wear ourselves the mercenary backpack. So I think this dude isn't a part of the five-man team, so let's loot and get the hell out of here. I'm still trying to get tape. I'm over at the construction site because that's why I came here. We got ourselves some pretty good loot. Oh, and there are two people over there. Yeah, this is yeah I don't think I'm gonna survive this. I'm just gonna hide, and we're gonna do the insane tactic of homing. All right, let's med up. Yeah, I'm not fighting a five-man team right now, bro. Especially considering the fact I have a uh, full inventory. Oh, yeah, we are back in base. We did get a bit of tape. Not enough, though. We got ourselves a fully decked out Merlin. I love that gun. Oh, he's dead. All right, let's kill the zombie and let's check out what he had. I don't think he had anything that good. Oh, that guy is in a duel. Oh, there's even more shots. Uh, he had the tape. Oh, let's met up. I'm gonna go back to the construction area of this. And we're trying to get more construction zombies to kill. Oh, there's some loot on the floor. And I wasted a mech kit. Oh, and I'm getting shot at. Yeah, somebody looted here already. There's one tape. All right, let's home. Somebody's sniping very, very close. All right, so we are ready to go and do a raid. Now, I'm gonna go with the Penumbra. I'm not gonna go fully mercenary, though. I'm not gonna focus on PvP mostly. I'm just gonna focus on doing a decent raid. i to get myself some profit from two charges. We're gonna try to find ourselves a wooden base. Now, I did see one very close to the dead zone, and it seemed pretty big. It was like three floors. So if we do hit ourselves the right wall, then we can get ourselves some decent loot. Now, hopefully, it only requires two C4 per wooden wall, since there's base health on the server. Oh, there's a guy. All right, he's dead. My guy got lasered. All right, he's a solo. Okay. Anything good, bro? He has, uh, yeah, he has some good items. Not too bad. He has tape. Lovely. Merlin, some ammo. All right, so this is the base I was talking to you guys about earlier. Now, I did make myself some leathers. Yeah, the area is claimed, unfortunately. There's, like, a sign in there that we could access. Right, it's not too big, but it's three floors, and it is a two-by-two. Two. So, we'll put ourselves, I don't know, two charges over there. Hopefully, it will break all four of these walls. If not, we'll see. 
Alright, yeah. We did break two walls. That's pretty good. Uh, there's some loot. Yeah, two flowers. F charge. There's a false chair as well. There's a rainbow beret. Yeah, we could jump up here. There's even more loot. A bunch of Bevlar, Krizzy. Um, some armored plates. This one has gunpowder. A bunch of ammo. This one, a bunch of false chair ammo. A bunch of gun parts. We can't access the top one, though. I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna get up there since it's claimed. Maybe we have to actually use the charge. I'm gonna find the claim flag. Yeah, I'm trying to maybe jump on top of the roof and then we could jump on the crate, but yeah, we'll just put a charge there. It's probably where the ladder or stairs are anyway. Yeah, it did break the rainbow beret. Yeah, the stairs are here. Walnut. There's a bunch of loot. They made a wooden hatch. Lovely. We love to see that. Add, dude, even more gunpowder there. There's a bunch of stuff we can use to make Dude, there's four gauze masks? What the hell? Alright, well, I'll take them. Yeah, my inventory is full already. We could drop stuff we don't really need. And we could fill up our vault. Let's put the gauze mask and the gunpowder. Put all of this loot in there. Get ourselves a rainbow beret. I think that's the rarest one as well. We'll take the gauze masks. We gotta go up there. Yeah, we made ourselves the jump. Dude, a century and 12.7 drill. Bro, these guys are actually stacked. Yeah, I'll take the drill and put it in my secondary. Three walnuts, a bunch of guns, attachments, SWAT backpack, definitely an upgrade. Yeah, we'll take the crazy and the walnut. Even more gunpowder, even more gunpowder, a bunch of ammo. Yeah, these guys definitely grinded the dead zone. A penumbra. Right, we gotta drop something. Let's drop the walnut. Gunpowder, another gunpowder, another penumbra. Empty, empty. Yeah, these are empty then. There's the drill over there. All right, well, now we got a depot. I'm really happy with this raid, though. We definitely profited. We used, like, four gunpowder there in order to raid this base. And we did get a C4 in return, which we did use. But we definitely profited. So I'm gonna take everything that's important. I'm not gonna leave anything that good. We might actually have to leave some stuff because my inventory is completely stacked. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys do want more of these type of videos in the future, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys do want to play on the server, the IP and the port will also be in the description below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!